Welcome back, everybody. I'm Jade Monkey. We're back here in Rust to talk about that Rust console edition for the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, Next Generations, and everything in between. And today, we've got the news. Yes, the Christmas event, the Xmas event, is now live on Main Branch for Rust console edition and also for the PC. I'm going to go over what this event, event, excuse me, entails. Excuse me, I, I still had the coughs, uh, the sickness a little bit, uh, so I might have to pause occasionally to clear my throat. Sorry about that, but things are getting better, so that's good. So yeah, over on PC and on Rust Console Edition, we have the Christmas event, and it is out on Main Branch and also PTB. Speaking of PTB, Staging Branch or Testing Branch, if you have the baseline version of Rust and you'd like to upgrade it so you have access to the public testing branch on Rust Console Edition, you can purchase the Rust Dark Camo Combat Pack. Search for it in the PlayStation or Microsoft Store and make sure the line item in there says Rust Console Edition Public Testing Branch and you should be good to go. It just know it's a separate download. And if you have Deluxe or Ultimate, you can also download that as well. Excuse me. Okay, that was definitely a cough. Okay, so uh, lots of different things going on here. So electricity is cooking. Um, that's mad exciting. And again, another good reason to go over on PTB to check things out. Things are actually quite stable and have been a ton of fun. So let's go over and check out some of the things that are going on with the Christmas event itself. Uh, let's see. We should have occasionally... There they are. Okay, you'll see presents that occur. You'll hear little jingle bells happen. Oh, wait. There we go. And these things will spawn out in the uh, just around the base and stuff. You hit these and you gather presents. If you played the Halloween event, this is going to be very similar in that regard where you have to combine the low tier to mid tier to large or high high tier, highest tier uh, things together to uh, collect or to get loot. Let's go ahead and pop this open real quick and take a look. Um, you combine 10 of these uh, small presents to make a medium and then 10 mediums to make a large. And then obviously if you unwrap the large ones, you're going to get really good stuff. And if you put up the stockings inside of your base, occasionally you will get more items here. You can also wrap up gifts, wrap up gifts, excuse me. Um, yeah, you can give people trash, human skulls. It's great. One second. It's fantastic. You can give people all your garbage and make it look like it's a present. I would also suggest that you do not store anything in the stockings because they will decay over time. Also, you'll have access to the, what is it, the high external ice wall that everybody has. It's essentially a stone wall, and it just has like an icy texture. So um, basically, we all have the free high external stone wall uh, for at least a month or so. Let's see what else. And if you like to decorate the tree, a lot of people were confused about our Christmas lights. There are a couple different Christmas lights. There are the tree Christmas lights right there, and that's the one... Uh, the particular lights that we have over on the console side. Um, there's also these Christmas lights that are static that don't require electricity. And then there are the deluxe lights, and we'll go over that here in a second. Okay, so what else did we miss? All right, yes, you can also decorate the tree in various ways. You get these inside of the presents. And here's the other thing. <coughs> Excuse me. So Santa Claus is supposed to go across the sky and drop little, uh, poop out little presents everywhere. I haven't seen him on the PC version, and I haven't seen him on the console version. So he does come at nighttime, obviously, but um, I guess be on the lookout. I'm not really sure where he's at, to be perfectly honest. I'm uh, a little confused by that. Um, but, you know, if you see him in the sky, you know what to do. Go grab those presents. Okay, let's see what else. We also have the snowball. What is it called? The snowball grenade launcher. And you can use it. It's mostly for attacking people, and yes, you can do damage to people's uh, structures with it, but it's not super great for raiding, just so you know. Here are the deluxe lights. They do require electricity. I don't think we have these on the console version, if I'm not mistaken, <coughs> but they are nice. They're like string lights, and they do light up. You can do various things with them. And so if you'd like to know when we do get these in the future, no word on when we're going to get it. If you'd like to know the power basics for electricity, I'll go ahead and link that video now in the upper right-hand corner. Deloop! If you want to go check that out, I may or may not have just coughed just that. <laughs> just when you think you're doing okay with the with the sickness, you're like, maybe I'm not doing so great. Okay, so let's go over and check out some more stuff here. Oh, wait. No, I'm sorry. Here's more of the fancy lights. Check it out. Yeah. Also, you may get the Pookie Bear. Consider it a really good AoE for healing. Your character, you see my comfort's shooting up on the right-hand side. If you have two of them, put them in your entrance where, like, you need to, like, re... I was going to say refuel, but, like, heal back up. So a place where you have, like, food and stuff, and you'll just boost. It's basically a chair you don't have to sit in, and it's AoE. 
area of effect for people that don't play WoW. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. And since Power Surge is out, you won't believe it, but yes, custom cameras, the ones you can place all over the, the place, inside of your base, outside of your base, all over, and the ones that actually sit on the monuments, we do have access to those in Power Surge. Yeah, does that blow your mind? So I'm going to go ahead and link the Rust Custom Cams video in the upper right-hand corner. Deloop. Not only will this show you how to set up your own custom camera and use the computer station, but also camera codes for all the different monuments that are actively in use. So you can check things like the oil rig, the dome, the outpost. Yeah, it's as dirty as you think it is. <coughs> it's fantastic. Uh, let's see, we have a couple more decorations around here. We've got the giant candy canes. We have the reindeer antlers. Those are also really nice. You have the wreaths. It's very fancy. So, yeah, um, things are really bumping for Rust Console Edition uh, and even over on the PC side. As uh, Actually, Rust PC just had its birthday. It's in its ninth year. Happy birthday to Rust, Face Punch Studios. And, uh, yeah, what a beautiful game. I love it. We've been playing it ever since it came out. I can't wait to see what's next. Uh, we're all mad excited for the Power Surge update and for the transportation and for the farming that's coming in the very near future. And custom servers, let's not forget that too. So more on that later, but if you want to know how to make probably the sneakiest trap base in Rust Console Edition right now, I'm going to go ahead and link the trap, uh, sneaky trap base that uses the storage monitor even without the Rust Plus application. I'll throw it up on the end screen now. Deloop.